Snyder's with the Rangers. What were you th what were you thinking about the Rockies? So just about set now. Our starting pitcher uh -huh. in this one, Nathan Evaldi, singing he's been outstanding and should be fun to watch. Well, when you have a guy that can limit the opponent um, to very little run production, you have a great chance to win a ball game when he takes them out. He's just having an outstanding season so far. You hope he can maintain it because if he can, we will be in a nice conversation at the end of the year. Now the batter now, Vaughn Grissom. That's to third. Miller Phil's over actually first played good yesterday. Two quick outs to the top the of the first here tonight. Here's Austin Riley. Yeah. Next offering is in for a strike. Chris the most inconsistent team I've World ever met. With the Red Sox in 2018, but he was actually they went, swings they through that, six. and it's a strikeout. And good lose six. Back here at the ballpark, and our pitcher in this game, yeah. Charlie. Damn. Chris, how about a scouting report? He's had his ups Nothing and worse than a, a pop up in the infield. He's just over four, but this is a guy that's not afraid. He's going to take the ball. He's going to go out there and give it his pop ups to the infield or ground balls to second base. I wasn't running out. That one, 95 <laughs> to finish him off. Just a mid 90s challenge fastball right there. Not much to it. And I'm sure he'd love another swing at it because. It was in a very hittable location. Oh, Those are the it. swings where you can sometimes start to question yourself as a hitter and say, how did I miss that? So you guys are leaving on Thursday this week? That one ran inside. Nice. Got him. And ended up winning a World Series with Brian McCann in 2017, but they were wearing Astros uniforms. Maybe we should get... Payoff pitch. Make sure he throws those hands through the zone next time. <laughs> Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with that the middle of the infield and that took it back field. where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. And now let's see if they force really? some action with good wheels on the bases. Oh, Nathaniel oh, Lau. Hello? Mom. Nathaniel Lowe goes deep, and they throw a pair on the board. It's two nothing. Air. That was blasted. Absolutely, no doubt off the bat. Bang, bang. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the backspin carried it out of here. Kicks and deals. Is this playoffs then? Got him swinging for the strikeout. Huh. Blew the express right by his bat for strike three. Bad, 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 Toughest pitch to hit. Fastball on the outer black. Man, sometimes you just got to tip your cap. Now it's Marcus Simeon. The next pitch misses. Two and one. Uh, really where? And a pitch. Tomorrow? And strike two. Well, they're really running up the pitch count. Thanks for the invite. Lots of I really appreciate this it. team that is perhaps the hottest in baseball right now. Yeah, hey, that's what I said. Oh, my goodness. Two, two now. Simeon waits. In the dirt. Tosses to first. And Simeon is out. And the inning is over. But two come across to score in the inning. And welcome back. Second inning set to go. Matt Olson up to the plate. Is this, is this the team that you would play in the finals every year, Dad? Nice inning on offense. Got some runs across. This is Oppo home run? Starter to go out there wow. Shut down inning. Don't give that other What's team the fence any like? hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. How far is the fence? Two. Oh, that's a nice he shot. Him out without a swing. Couldn't pull the trigger on a fastball at the knees. Here's Orlando. Arcea. A what? What does that mean? On the ground is short. Oh, come on. Tosses what is first. this? Two up, two ah, Dad, I don't know. Second. These kids two nowadays, it's just like, oh, it's so Ozzie hard to watch. The next to hit. They literally take everything now. It's out. like, come on. You're not in the majors. 
Bottom half of inning number two. And now the right fielder, Dustin Harris. You're playing men's league baseball. Grow up. Swing and a miss. And the count one and two. Just not able to catch up to that velocity. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One up, one down. Where did that guy play, Dad? MJ Melendez will hit next. One down, base is empty. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Are there any independent ball teams in like the Philly area? The pitch. Any grounds? Yeah, the Jackals, the right, right? All these gathers. And Where were the Blue Rocks? First. They were just minor league Ready affiliate, right? Here in the home half of inning number two. Yeah, that was the Royals. Remember, they would hand out the wooden bats every game. <laughs> they can't do that anymore. That one yeah. Missed. I remember the fireworks show was always like terrifying there. Swing and a miss there. <laughs> Left hand hitter waits. Hacks and misses. Did you guys hit a lot of home runs? Enough to do it. Welcome back. Top half of the third inning. So here's Murphy now. And it's filled up. One cool nugget on okay. Evaldi. Comes from the same hometown as Nolan Ryan. Both guys from Alvin, Texas. They actually attended the same high school. One yet? They didn't meet until 2016. Evaldi pitching for the Yankees. Visited the Astros. And that's when he got a chance to meet the Ryan Express. Now batting Jordan Luplo. Is this the team that you always face in the finals, or they broke up now? In the dirt. Up with it, fires to first. Save! He beats it out and reaches on the strikeout. Sam Hillier next up for the Braves. The 1-1. And that one off the outside edge. In the air, left side. Thompson on the move to the right. Makes a nice running catch. And there's two away. So two okay. now, and here is Michael Harris. Line drive, and that's a fair ball. Lead runner around second. Lead runner gets the stop sign at third. It's a two-out double, second and third now. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He Is he good? Deep, took the barrel right to it. Ah, After that ends the inning, so we take a break. Back here at the ballpark. Are you better than Paul, Dad? We go to the last of the third. And now here's the veteran DH, Robbie Gross. That is embarrassing. The man's like 87 years old. This is two and one. Come on. <laughs> ah, that'll play. Good eye right oh, there. Ambo, whatever his name is. That's on roids. Allegedly. And the 3 1. Pity? Foul ball. Wow. Well, that's all he can do is drive. He's in a small game. And down on strikes he goes. And there's one down. Back to the top of the lineup. Here's Bubba Thompson. His first at bat was a strikeout. Swings and misses on the fastball up and What's the mom doing right now? Strikeout. Here's Leody Tavares. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. Next pitch misses way outside. Oh. Way high. Yeah. On the ground, right side. <laughs> that ends the frame. Yeah. So ridiculous. You know, these Braves, to put it bluntly, need to put together more competitive at bats, and I don't think they've lived up to their own expectations. It's pretty lonely, Mop. The guy's just literally just by herself. What do you today, want? Like... So it's probably time to simplify the approach and just find ways to put the ball in play. And that's just foul. 
Righty delivers. I'm sure that wasn't her choice. That one ripped. That's back. That one is gone. Oh. Well, I'm sure there's a big grin on his face right now, Boog. He's probably had some of those that didn't stay fair, but off the bat, it looked like it was going to be foul. Can't glove it cleanly. Stay with it, Nate. But he wins the foot race to first. Good job of knowing how much time he had there. The 2 1. No one else is helping her out. And that one missing low. Yeah, well, he hasn't yeah. fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. And TT also kicked her out of her own house. What do you expect? Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. But not before they answer back with a solo home run. And welcome yeah. back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now the first baseman, Nathaniel Lowe. Yeah. On the ground, right side. Albies whips it to first. One out in the bottom of the fourth. So now it's Corey Seager. The 1-1. One -one. Like mother, and like no. daughter. Swings Why didn't they? That one for strike two. The pitch. This one in the air right field. Luplo coming on. Makes the grab nice. on the run. And there's two down. A chain of Tina gone. Here is Marcus Simeon. He's 0 for 1. Not even Good close one. there. 2 and 1. Oh, okay. And now 2 and 2. Where's, where's Dunk at? Is the he living down there, I mean? The Swing and a miss. Oh, okay. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. All set for the start of the inning. Here's Sean Murphy. Well, I think we were thinking about coming down Monday, saying the night. Swing and a miss. Two and, two. and that is strike two. Because leave when everyone comes down. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Nice house. Righty to the plate. Little Olivia. Line to left. And there's a hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff dive. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. And that'll get down for a hit. Lead runner holds mm. up. They're at first and second with nobody out. Now the left fielder, Sam Hilliard. Yeah, well. Here as he All right. It away. You see how the catcher wanted I'll talk to you. Up and Later. Try to tie him Bye. Up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You oh. have to get it up there. Oh, now this ball gets down. The run comes in from second. We are tied at two. Well, it goes oh. through clutch with the RBI single. That was big. Nice line drive to the pole side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. Just nope. missed. Oh, come on. Chris, with that distraction and the speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Luplo, the runner at third. Hilliard on second. Harris on the first. Okay. Nobody out. Got him swinging. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Austin Riley. Gonna count one and two. At the dish, oh, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boo. Cuts and misses. Come on, it's Nate. Let's go one more. Certainly a strikeout situation right there. The infield playing back, and this pitcher has to step up and get the swing and miss. Really nice job of attacking the, the hitter at the plate. Pretty big two out at bat coming up now. The pitch. And there's the ball. Base is loaded. Two down. Swings and misses, struck him out. 
bottom of the inning. Ooh, now it's the right fielder, Dustin Harris. And that is cut on and missed. And yeah, the count one and two. On the mound, he had a little trouble back in the first, but it's been a different story the rest of the way. Really settled into this outing nicely. And a swing and a miss. And one away. Here's the catcher, MJ Melendez. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. Still two and two after the foul ball. Way inside, gets out of the way. Got it by him for the K. In the back, boys. Now at 10 Ks with still a few innings left, so expect him to add on to that total and. You know, pitchers are looking to have a strikeout for any. Ouch, that one got him. He had him 1-2, and he ends up hitting him with a pitch. Oh, he's only an out away from getting through the inning, but he just lost control for a brief moment there. It's not the end of the world, but don't let one mistake turn into another. Get your focus back right here. At the belt and fires. And down on strikes. That ends the inning. I think the key... Welcome back, top six. Now it's the DH, Orlando Arcia. They say it went. You know, these Braves finding ways to get on base, but they still need help driving them home. They only have one hit with runners in scoring position, so a lot of squandered opportunities. It's tough because those are moments you just can't get back. Next pitch is inside. And the count is even two and two. that one down the line and it stays fair around first and hustling for second the throw in but he's in there easily gotta love the resiliency short in that bat battling with two strikes nice job keeping it fair as he turned on it down the line and once it got through the infield it was a double all the way a chance now to take the lead and at this point in the game that could be a deciding run no outs runner on second that misses the zone, and it's three and two. Count is full. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because word will get around the league in a hurry. Thompson brings it in, and there's two down. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. In the dirt, blocked, and the runner holds. And a 2-1 on the way. Good eye right there. And that's ball four. So first and second with two outs. Sam Hilliard next up for the Braves. Next offering is in for a strike. He can get through this one with the zero. This will help in his outings to come. In the air, He's right on. field. Harris pulls that one down, and that That's it. is that. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and two are left. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. We are tied 2-2. Well, we go bottom six, and here is Bubba Thompson. Swings and misses. It's two and two. Movement in the bullpen. Dylan Lee getting ready to come in for manager Brian Snicker. McHugh warming up as well. On the ground, out to short. Throw on to Olsen. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. Next up for Texas, Leone Tavares. Single to score back in the first. He's one for two. Next offering is foul back. And the pitch. That misses the zone. And the count is two and two.
That one 95 to finish him off. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. The one, two. And he swings Get and lifts up. one to oh. deep center field. Harris going back, back some more, back some more. Can't get there, and now maybe extra bases. Mm. Low into second, and he's got a double. Here comes the manager out of the break. They hand the ball over to a new arm, Ian Anderson. He pitched yesterday, and we'll see him once again. And the righty deals. And yeah, that's outside. And the strategy of winning a ball game, when you can make that pitcher work a little more, expose himself by throwing pitches, that could be the key to winning perhaps later on. So good job of extending this inning, getting a knock with two outs to bring the number four hole hitter up. Albies over to first in time. That's the third out. One left for Texas. John King into the game. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Now the leadoff spot for the Braves, Michael Harris. 2-2 Two -two down. Pulls the string with the yep. changeup, struck Ready? him out. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just could Hit hard, should be extra bases. Takes the turn, he's digging for second. And he greets the new arm from the bullpen with a double. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. Oh. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. Here's Matt Olson. He's already homered here in this one. Next pitch misses, oh, and that's ball three. I almost feel like he's frustrated a little bit. He wants to be challenged. Two down, go ahead run at scoring position. Yeah. Next offering finds the zone, and the count is full. So now two on and two outs. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. And time is called for a mound visit now. Big moment in this game, so they'll talk it over. Taking over on the mound for the Rangers, Jose Leclerc. He's been so good Bye -bye. against lefties. Oh. Thompson makes the catch in and go.
Marcus Simeon stepping in for the Rangers. And here it comes. Can't field it cleanly. But the throw to first gets him easily. And that's the first down. And now, Dustin Harris. There's the swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. Fastball, and he gets out of the way. Straighten him up a little bit. And a wider around in the right center for a base hit. He needed that one. It's been a tough stretch to play for him. Nice line drive to the pull side and ended up front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Now it's going to be got him. And two away now. Here's the third baseman, Brad Miller. 2-2. Two -two. The punch out there. That's his second strikeout. Rangers leave one. Back here at the ballpark, ready to begin the eighth. And now it's the switch hitting second baseman, Ozzy Albies. And a little something extra at stake in this at bat as he's hitless so far with his hitting streak in jeopardy. pitch there and take a rip at he wants to get his arms extended he likes the ball away from him a little bit just not able to square it up ground ball to the right side he handles it himself one down now down and now the catcher comes up to him Sean Murphy Next pitch downstairs, and a count two and one. 17,512, and over 10 runs in a row. Come on, a little support. Kicks and fires. Foul ball, another 2-2 two -two upcoming. He goes down looking. Well, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there, and I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a cold ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. And there's the third out. That'll do it for the inning. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Colin McHugh. He last pitched two days ago. Swing and a miss. And it's one and two. No, no base hits in the series for him so far, and it's clearly been a rough one. You just hope he's not pressing too hard because that just compounds things. It makes the slump even longer. Never seems to help. Never helped me. Gets a piece and stays alive. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. And now Bubba Thompson is a 1-1. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Bullpen activity starting up now. Dylan Lee, the young lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, tough night at the dish. Punching out for the third time right there. He just hasn't looked very comfortable at the plate. A little unsure of his timing right now, not picking up the spin and location of these pitches. We'll have some adjustments to make. The next oh. offering misses, and it's two and one. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. So out of the bullpen for the Rangers, Brian Abreu. Well, walks have been a big issue for him this year, so I expect these hitters to be patient up there. Low steps on the bag, and the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. And now the center fielder, Michael Harris. A strikeout and a walk. The 1-2. 
He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Puts it away for the out. And the batter will be the shortstop. Vaughn Grissom. Got him swinging. Three up three. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Dylan Lee. And compared to a lot of other relievers, strikeouts have not been a big weapon for him this year. So the defense should be active. Strike three. Got him swinging. And that's the first out. And here's Corey Seeker to hit. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. And now here is Marcus Simeon. Two down, nobody on. In the air, fairly deep to right field. Ozuna ranging after it. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And welcome back. We're in extras here. Now in for the Braves, Austin Riley. In the dirt, but kept close. And the runner stays where he is. Activity in the bullpen. A.J. Minter getting ready to come in for manager Brian Snicker. Jimenez getting loose as well. Slings it across. One away in the top half of the 10. And now Matt Olson up to hit. The extra innings rule placing a runner on second to begin the inning was a big move for baseball in 2020. So, Chris, how has that changed the way relievers approach these innings? Well, I don't think it's that much different from coming in to clean up someone else's mess. Definitely not ideal, but the best relievers welcome challenges like this. Ball to strike. And that's downstairs and outside. Runner at second, two down. Swung on, belted. Harris on the move, racing back. Looking up to the warning track, makes the catch. Welcome back, and now the right fielder, Dustin Harris. Looks like it'll be a pinch hitter, Adolis Garcia. The winning run on base for him. Number 53, that one is upstairs. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. The 2 1. Swing and a miss. Movement in the Atlanta bullpen. A.J. Minter getting ready to come in for manager Brian Snicker. Jimenez, the right hander, also getting loose. Oh, no. On paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. Pitch misses there, and now three and two. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there, and boy, umpire didn't give him the call. I bet you if he throws it again, hitter knows he's going to have to swing it. Swings and misses, struck him out. Oh. This guy will throw any pitch at any count, three, two. He goes off speed, gets the out. So next to hit for Texas, M.J. Mullen. Pitch hitter coming on, Sam Huff. He gets a chance with a runner in scoring position and one gone. The lefty ready, and a 1-1. That one the other way. That's a base hit. Headed for the plate. In comes the winning run, and the Rangers walk it off in extra innings. You know, he had to feel the pressure. Winning run on second base. Found a way to make solid contact.